Hi there, and welcome to the third episode of Q&A in C, a monthly show in which I will answer questions I found in the comment section of my videos and questions that my Patreon supporters asked. All the comments in this video originate from those five videos, so make sure to watch them if you don't understand the context of certain questions. At the end of this video, I will also crown the top three best comments of the month. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Ariel asks, when you realized you liked electronics, in school with final projects, or you was a little boy with take apart electronic boxes? I realized how awesome electronics is way too late during my job training, which was around five years ago. As a child, I was definitely interested in taking things apart, but I never really got into the subject. Probably because back then it was a lot harder to find information and projects to get started with. Nowadays it's much easier, you just open your browser and you find 100 awesome electronics projects in one second. Eugenio says, I would be very pleased if you talk about lithium ion battery measurement in percentage. Thank you. Well Eugenio, I would love to talk about the subject, but I think it's a bit too much for a Q&A and C episode. But I will do a couple of battery videos in the near future, so I will talk about it there. The comment section asks, why didn't you choose to use a class D amplifier board, which is much more efficient than a car head unit? The answer is quite simple. The car radio was the initial component that started the boombox project. A class D amplifier would obviously be more efficient, but we really wanted to use that car radio. The comment section asks, I'm lazy, can I buy one if you make it? I get that question quite often and the answer is always no. Sorry, but I want to focus all my time on making new videos to inspire people, instead of making paid projects. The comment section asks, kannst du mir mal erklären? Wait, I think I have to get this clear. I know that I have a couple of German viewers, and you probably also know that I'm German, but that doesn't mean that you should post German comments underneath an English video. This is for an international audience. So if you want an answer to a question, then you have to ask in English. The comment section says, please more fix it videos, troubleshooting, repairing videos. Sure, no problem. I'm currently working on a new one. The comment section asks, what about BJT S amplifier? Will you make a video? Well, I'm not entirely sure yet because amp circuits can be very difficult to design and I think that could discourage quite a lot of people. But let me know what you think in the comment section below and maybe it will happen. The comment section asks, I really like how all of your videos are edited. How do you approach pre-production? Do you write a script first and then film? How often do you have to go back and film extra bits? When I create project videos, I usually start off with a couple of test circuits. Then I build the project itself and obviously record simultaneously. Afterwards, I do the script according to the footage, do the voiceover and edit everything together. For basics videos, on the other hand, I firstly write the script and include storyboard and then record all the footage for the video. But in both cases, it takes quite a lot of time to produce one episode around 30 to 50 hours. That is also the reason why I did not upload a project video today, because I didn't have that much time to spare this week. Okay, let's end this video with the top three comments of the month. Number three from Semantic, who says, my last boombox project in a trash can with subwoofer and blue lights. And yes, he did post a YouTube link to his creation. Number two from Sheflat Rappin. Who says, you made something I was doing at 11 years old look like rocket science. Well, that is one of the things we Germans are good at, overcomplicating things. And the number one comment of the month is from Sos I Kill Yous, great name by the way, who commented underneath my Fix It episode. What are the chances of this guy getting it instead of everyone else? The funny thing is, I was thinking the exact same thing while repairing those speakers. And with that being said, let's end this Q&A and C episode here. I hope you liked it, stay creative and I will see you next time.